So two more methods of concealed carrying. And the first is the good old pocket gun. Now, do not do this as your first method. This is only under specific missions, right? And the first thing that you have to consider is the outline. Never grip it from the actual grip because the whole, the whole gun's gonna show up, right? You have to fist the gun, right? The only time you're allowed to do this regularly, but fist it so it shows more of an outline of your knuckles. And then when you get close to your target, that's when you engage, right? First method. Now, mind you, the pocket gun should only be used for very specific scenarios because it's, it's like the dumbest method out there, right? Nobody expects the pocket gun because it's so stupid, therefore nobody prepares for it, right? Now, the second and most dangerous method is this jacket, right? That's because this, I can hold the handgun from its handle. I can use my other hand to support the image that nothing's there. And when I do get eyes on on the target, all I have to do is just push it away to get close pop off a couple rounds and then I disappear into the crowd, right? Cause I'm wearing a jacket, they never had a visual on the gun. So if your gun doesn't jam and you have a firm grip on it while it's here, if you have more space, you can adapt it, then you get the point, right? So another example, the zip up jacket, right? This one gives you a little more free range of motion, a little more real estate. So you can be a little more creative, right? Just keep it simple. Find a reason to get close, pop off a couple rounds, act surprised and disappear off into the crowd. The main thing you want to avoid is having a weak grip because it will jam if you don't have a firm grip on your weapon and you don't want to outline yourself because this indicates a shooter, right? Another example, the zip-up jacket. I don't have a holster, so let's just use our imagination, but with this, essentially, pull your jacket as far up as you can, fire from the hip, and engage. The two main things you want to consider with this are whether you want to keep your shirt tucked or untucked. If you have it untucked, you have to use your thumb to pin your shirt to your body or you're gonna be jumble fucked all over the place, right? To avoid that, I just keep it untucked. I like to keep things simple, right? Also, if I find myself in an altercation where I can't come to an agreement and it's gonna get ugly, all I have to do is fluff myself up, right? Bro, get away from me, bro. I don't want any issues. As soon as I break this line of sight, he's done, right? You've already been training. It should only take you half a second to do so. Do this, pull your shit out, take care of the issue, right? Remember, the main benefit to this hood rag is that it's unconventional, therefore it's unexpected, right? On top of that, it keeps you from doing this and marking yourself as the shooter because you're not the shooter, right? Keep it close, keep it cool, don't act weird about it, and just use some common sense. That's honestly all it takes.